since they want to know since they want to know since they want to know here's the formula on oh now let's go Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Monday, October 22nd, a blue day. I'm Cody Bass. And I'm Lauren Robinson, and this is AHS Today. Let's see what's for lunch. Hey, hey, it's Abby J. <laughs> hey, hey, where's Abby J? Well, good morning, Auburn High School. I mean, man, it was hot in there. Hot in this costume. Well, um... Actually, you only have, what was it, nine more days left till Halloween, and let me tell you a little bit about my costume. I mean, I am the infamous chicken elf. I mean, here, once upon a time, this is, this is how it started. There was a chicken, and there was an elf. Nobody knew there was an egg, and there was the chicken elf, me, Abby Jones. Today, what you will be having for lunch is uh, chicken nuggets, grilled chicken, country steak, or pizza. Um, yes. So, um, back to the studio from the chicken house. <laughs> Sophomores will be taking the plan on Wednesday. Juniors and seniors will arrive at school by 11.17 to begin first period. This is a very important test date, so sophomores must plan to attend. Students, this week we're opening up the vote for the teacher sumo wrestling competition. The sumo match will be the final class competition at the homecoming festival. The three teachers who will win a class vote will suit up and duke it out for points that will go toward the class that they are representing. A vote for the teacher you would like to see represent your class by going to your class page on Moodle. You can vote on the following teachers. Miss Sally Auker, Miss Karen Hall, Mr. Mark Hoseman, Miss Christy Kirk, Miss Laurie Osborne, Mr. Byron Williams, Miss Samantha Shipman, Miss Donna Yeager. And the first teacher knocked off his or her feet is the loser, and the teacher still standing is the ultimate victor. Seniors, stop by Mr. Yeager's room, 9113, after school on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday to paint signs for Opelika Week. Also, pick up your class t-shirts this week. You will not be allowed to get your t-shirt if you have not paid your class dues. And sophomores, your class t-shirts are in. If you have paid your dues, you may pick up your t-shirt from Ms. Ocker in room 803 before or after school or during fourth block. Tomorrow you need to dress up in what used to be cool, so break out those throwback trends. In club news, the host of group picture will be on Wednesday immediately after school in the old gym. All members and officers should attend. Anime Society will meet today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in Miss Forsyth's room, 813. Please remember your $15 club dues, $5 in cash for the food fund, and supplies for the weather dolls. Student Outreach for Christ will meet tomorrow morning at 7.15 a.m. in room 9211. Dues are $15, and this includes the club t-shirt. Please join our AHS Relay for Life team. You can pay $10 online or write a check to AHS. See Ms. Osborne in room 307 with any questions. The homecoming committee will now be meeting on Tuesdays and Thursdays in room 208 immediately after school. We will begin painting and cre creating items for the dance, so a change of clothes may be necessary. The Spanish Honor Society will hold its annual fall induction on Sunday, October 28th at 2 p.m. in the multimedia room. Invitations have been sent out and all members, both current and prospective, are requested to attend a brief practice ceremony in Senor Irwin's room, 9105, immediately after school on Thursday. The meeting should not last more than 20 minutes. In the spirit of Beat Opelika Week, FBLA will have a faculty, stars, and beautiful baby competition against Opelika to raise money for the March of Dimes. Students can enter a contest to guess which baby picture belongs to which teacher for a chance to win a prize of $50. The winner of the Guess the Faculty Fundraising Star Contest will be announced on October 26th and will win a gift card or dinner for two at a local restaurant. In addition to this, students can donate money in the front office at any time or during lunch waves for the duration of this week. FBLA's goal is to raise $2,000 by the night of the Opelika game and $5,000 by Prematurity Awareness Day on November 17th. The school winner for the March of Dimes fundraiser between Auburn High School and Opelika High School will be announced at the Auburn Opelika football game on Friday night. Now let's take a look at the weather with Pfeiffer Triplet. Good morning, Auburn High School. It's forecast five here with weather. Hope everybody had a great weekend. We have some fabulous weather to start your week off right. 
Today is going to be sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 52 with a 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow is also supposed to be sunny with a high of 79 and a low of 53 with a 0% chance of rain as well. Remember, you can check out real-time weather anytime throughout the day by clicking on the weather hyperlink on the AHS homepage. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Pfeiffer. School picture orders are due to Miss Shipman in room 812 by Friday, October 26. Please see Miss Shipman if you have any questions. All homecoming court representatives must turn in their information sheet to Miss Davis in room 305 by the end of the day. Auburn University and Auburn High School are partnering with the East Alabama Food Bank and the Beat Bama Food Drive. We will coordinate our total with the university at the end of the drive, which is November 19th. Our part as AHS students is to be Opelika and bring in the most food. Key Club will collect your food at the end of this week and the class that has the most food will win a free breakfast from Chick-fil-A provided by the Key Club. All three local Chick-fil-A locations are participating in Clash for Cash this week. Auburn High School will have a spirit night tomorrow at the East Magnolia location and on Thursday night at the Tiger Town location. Each school will receive 15% of all earnings so come out to support our school. All students who are interested in joining the Auburn Competitive Anglers should have their applications and dues turned in to Mr. Morgan at Auburn Junior High School by the end of the day tomorrow. Applications turned in after this date will not be accepted. In sports news, wrestling practice will begin next Monday after school in the old gym. Anyone interested in wrestling needs to see Coach Tucker after school next week in the gym. Also, powder puff registration began today. Only juniors and seniors may sign up to be a player, a coach, or a cheerleader, and spots are filled on a first-come, first-paid basis. The cost is $25 per person and includes a t-shirt. Registration will be outside room 204 before school and after school only. Do not come during the school day, please. Now let's take a look at some PBS incentives with Emma Tyler and Dr. Freeman. Today we are going to be talking with Dr. Freeman about some of the new positive behavior incentives being put into place this school year. Hey Dr. Freeman, so what are the positive behavior incentives you are setting into place this school year? Uh, the first quarter uh, for students that didn't get placed in the school suspension and are eligible to participate in the homecoming festival on November 2nd and the homecoming dance on November 3rd, so those are great incentives our efforts to recognize doing the appropriate things. Yes, sir. How do you lose these incentives? Well, you do if you, you get assigned to an in-school suspension for a disciplinary infraction, whatever the case may be, whatever puts you in ISS, you lose uh, that incentive. Can you gain these incentives back? You can. It's like uh, it's like the AAA Saturdays where on excuse absences. Uh, for every day that you were in ISS, you're assigned to AAA uh, or detention halls, and Ms. Hayes can work with uh, people on clearing those up. So students who lost their privileges for homecoming festival or homecoming dance can get those back provided they serve those, that time prior to November the 2nd. Thank you, Dr. Freeman. You're welcome. Back to you in the studio. And finally, you are invited to attend Academy Night at Lyman Ward Military Academy on Wednesday, October 24th, 2012 from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. If you attend, you will learn about educational and scholarship opportunities at our Federal Service Academies, Senior Military Colleges, and Junior Military Colleges. You will also hear presentations and have the opportunity to meet individually with the various admissions officers. See Mr. Tyndall for more information. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.